So given that tangent theta is equal to five over four, find or they can say determine cosec theta using, okay. The title of today's class, you might call it, or the topic, you might call it using Pythagorean identity. Okay, so this is how the question looks like, typically. Or they can say, using Pythagorean identity, determine cosec theta if tan theta is 5 over 4. So you can frame the English the way you want, but that's the bottom line. So now solution, here's how you do it. Just sketch a right triangle. It says it's dealing of angle, theta. You, you just create theta anywhere, anywhere of your choice. It says tangent theta is five over four. So um, always start with your circuiture. Okay, so tangent is opposite over adjacent. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So now they gave us the tangent theta as five over four. So opposite is five, adjacent is four. You see, so this is the opposite. This is the adjacent. This is obviously the hypotenuse because it is the, 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 the side that is facing the 90 degree. So they said it is um, five over four. So tangent of theta is equal to five over four. Now they are looking for cosec theta. Now, Check your, the, the screen I gave you again. Look at the screen again. The screen says, Pythagorean identity says, one plus tangent square theta is equal to sec square theta. And one plus cos square theta is equal to cosec square theta. So this is the formula. So all you need to do is you copy down this formula. You copy down this one because this is the one that has uh, cosec theta. You can get to your solution using any of these, but this is the one that is the shortest, the shortest part. So all you do is copy down the formula. So I will go back to the formula says using one plus cos square theta is equal to cosec square theta. All right. So now you know, you know that you know that um, cot, cotangent is inverse of sine. So cot theta is one over tangent theta. So inverse of it, which is the same thing as saying that cot theta is adjacent over opposite, the same thing. So now you, it, your formula has cot square theta. So now if if a uh, cos square theta is ad adjacent over opposite, that means um, cos theta would be four over five. That's the meaning of cos theta. Okay. So now all you do is you substitute this for the, you substitute this into the into the formula. So you have one plus four over five whole squared equal to cosec square theta all right so then you manipulate you manipulate the fraction so four squared is 16 five squared is 25 so you have one over one plus 16 over 25 equal to cosec square theta you see so now you can make the base the same you can make the base the same by saying one over one can be written as 25 over 25 so you have 25 over 25 plus 16 over 25 equal to cosec square theta. Now the base is the same now. This is, this is from this point. This is manipulation of fraction. So 16, uh, 16 plus 25 gives us what? 16 plus 25, 25, 16, 11, 41. So you have 41 over 25 equal to uh, sec square theta, all right? So in order to get uh, um, cosec theta, you have to square root both sides. So square root, square root, both sides. So that's going to give us square root of 41 divided by 25 equal to 
cosec um, theta. You see, square root of 25 is a perfect square. So you can have square root of 41 divided by 5 equal to cosec theta. And that becomes your final answer. Square root of um, 41 divided by 5. If you want to put it in fraction, then you use your calculator. All right? And that's it. Question before I give you the task. We still have about um, more than 30 minutes to go. So, Mr. Yu, if you yeah. are using, um, if they ask you for 10, that means you're going to use um, cotangent? Co it depends on what you have been asked. So, if they ask you for what, go ahead and repeat your question, please. Oh, since like, you know, the thing is like 10 um, theta equals zero, I mean, equals five over four. Yes. To solve the equation, you have to use um, cotangent 10. Yes, so now the, the, the question says, this, this particular question says, determine cosec theta. So now all you need to do is just make a reference to your um, uh, reference paper and see the formula that has cosec theta. Oh, okay, so that means that's, they can... that's all I did. So I went back to the reference uh, paper and then I copied out this formula. You don't have to memorize it. If you use it constantly, you are it's going to stick in your brain. But even if you don't remember it, that's why you have reference sheet of paper. Now, any of those other three trigonometric ratios will give will will help you solve the same problem. Any of them, even the first one, even the first one that says. The first one that says um, one uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to um, and equal to one. Even this one, this first one can help you. Even this second one can help you. But this is the shortest one because it has the cosec that you are already looking for. If you use any of these other two, you will solve either for cos or for sec or for tangent square theta, and then eventually you will convert all of them to sec square theta. So that's going to be a longer, a longer process. Can you, can you go back to the main screen? So there's a lot of information on the, I don't want to waste much of your time because we have 25 minutes to accomplish whatever that is left and it has to be turned in before uh, um, 925. Before 925? Yes, yeah, that's the end of the class period for today. Today is half day. So here's what I'm saying. There's a lot of formulas in this reference paper. But the, what I'm guaranteeing you is the more you use them, the more you get familiar with them. I am not asking you to memorize anything other than the trig ratio, the Stokatua. But once you continue using and applying them, all of them will eventually stick into your brain. It leaves you when you leave it. Which one do we just use again? Can I see you on the, the page? One use. Here's the one. Can you see oh. my mouse right now? Yes, yeah, I see okay. it. Yeah, so the question says using Pythagorean identity. So there's a reason why it's called Pythagorean identity so that you can actually come and see what is Pythagorean identity. You come and locate it. And once you identify the formula to use, the rest of it would be is just um, manipulating fractions. So I'm going to see, say using Pythagorean identity, I will be specific. Using Mr. U. Yeah. So you know how the um the formula has a U? Do we have to use that U? The U is the theta. They just type in U because U is easier for them to type than uh, theta. Okay. Thank the you. U is just the theta. Like I said, theta is just a Greek alphabet that is used to represent angle. So you can use X instead of U. You can use V, any symbol of your choice. Mr. U, I have another question. Yeah, go ahead. You see how the um the formula is like it looks the both look the same. Do we do the same exact thing, like how we did the first one you just showed us? The second one, the second question is exactly the same thing that we did. Yeah, but why is it um I'm saying like the first one, it says subtangent. So what do what is different? Um, what's the difference of subtangent in this form formula than um? Yeah, uh, the second one, the second one, the um, the second uh, Pythagorean formula has a tangent on it. Yeah, well, why? What's the difference? Is it the same thing we're doing? It is the same thing. It is the same thing. One of the formulas 
one of the formulas, let me write it on the board. I, this, you guys should have those reference sheets. You should have it. These are the formulas. Oh, Mr. You, we do, I do have the formula. When yeah, we... so that's all, you, that's all you need. And then you... Yeah. The, My the question was different. Are, do we solve the... Yeah, you will solve one of the things that is requested. I'm saying, do we solve in the same way you solve the other one? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Sine squared a... plus cos squared theta is equal to one. Then one plus um, sine squared theta is equal to uh, sec squared theta. The other one should be one plus cos squared theta is equal to cos sec squared theta. These are the formulas that you need. So use the one that is appropriate. Also know that know that um, sine theta itself is sine theta over cos theta. This formula is also this formula is also in your reference paper. Can you explain the third question? What does it say? Read read what it says. Sine theta if cos theta is equal to four over five. Yeah. You are using this is um this is basic trig ratio. Basic trig ratio says that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So now you are giving cos theta. That's what you are giving. You are giving cos theta to be four over five. So you also see you you can also see that sine theta. Look at this one. Hold on. Now the first the first formula says that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one. So if you are given cos theta, all you need to do is to find sine theta out of the, using the first formula, using this formula. Once you find sine theta using this formula, then you come back to this other one that says tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. You use that to find your cos theta, uh, tangent theta. That's all you need. Am I making sense? So for the third one, first of all, apply this first formula, the one that I'm highlighting right now, this one. After applying it to get your sine theta, then use this formula to get your tangent theta. And that's it. Okay, can you like correct me here where I'm wrong? So uh, for a sine theta is gonna give you three over five, right? So solving for three over five and four over five, which we had for the first question, which is cost, cost is gonna be four over five. So now you're going to transpose the three over five is going to give you five over three and uh, four over five. If you multiply the denominator, it's going to give you 15 and the numerator is going to give you 20, 20 right? So it's going to give you four over three for teacher. Teacher is going to be like four over three, right? It's, but, going, to, it's going to give you the same thing, Mohammed. Let me give you a hint, another hint before you go. He says uh, the same thing. This is theta right here. Uh, cos is. Let me just give you all the sides for the thing. Uh, the hypotenuse is going to be five. The adjacent. Okay. Yeah, hypotenuse is going to be five. Adjacent yeah. Is going to it's going to be four, and uh, the the opposite is going to be three. Okay. Good. Right. So what's the problem? So now sine theta, sine theta, sine theta is going to be uh. Opposite over hypotenuse. Once you have once you have this diagram that you just created right now, you don't even yeah. need, you don't even need the Pythagorean um, identity again. It's saying. But you said let's use Pythagoras. What you're going to use? I'm just saying this is what you can use to verify your answer. It says yeah. tangent is uh, equal to um, opposite over opposite over, over adjacent, which is yeah. um, three, three over, over four. four. So when you say if you use the uh, Pythagoras identity, it's going to give you like four over three. It's not going to give you something different. You didn't, you are not doing something right. Like, so look at this. Sine okay. squared theta is equal to uh, plus cos. They gave you cos. So what you do is they gave you cos to be what? They are gave you, you cos to be wait, what? Look at I don't this. understand. Are you supposed to add them? Yeah, hold on. They gave you cos to be four over five. So you have four over five whole squared equal to one. Okay, it looks like I made a mistake here. I yeah. wrote, I wrote uh, four over five. Instead, I should have written 16 over 25. I should have written well, 16. If you square root 16 over on, 25. Hold on, I should have written 16 here, here, here. 
because 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. So this should have been 16 over 25. And this should have been uh, 25 minus 16. And 25 minus 16 is what? 9. This should have been 9. 9 over 25. And then this is 9 over 25. And this is 3 over 5. Okay? You see? So now, sine theta is 3 over 5. 3 over 5. So cos theta itself is 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Now, uh, this is very simple. So you, you have 3 over 5 divided by 4 over 5. All you do is KFC. you keep change flip. flip. KFC. So keep this 3 over 5, change the other one to multiplication, and then 5 over what? 5 over 4. 5 cancel 5, and you're left with 3 over 4. So what is not the same? What is not the same, uh, Mohammed? No, I think I made an error somewhere. Okay, good. At least, uh, at least uh, I know I know it must be the same. You see, now can you see that I made a mistake somewhere? But because my process is correct, all I did was just go there and change the numbers to correspond to the same. You know, to correspond to get your solution. That's all I did. Okay, thank you. I was just trying to because I was getting myself all confused here. You guys, I have solved. I have solved number number one problem for you. You guys didn't even say thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> um, can I leave? I already turned my in. Yes, yes, you can leave. Yes, uh, actually, the time is over. So, ladies and gentlemen, submit your work and go, please. Have a nice day, weekend. Mister, you can you please go through this like next class one more time because I'm still kind of need okay, help. We will. We will. We will next class. Not now. Okay. Have a good day. Have a blessed day.